Hello guys, this is Hems once again. For this video, this is just a quick editing tutorial on how I add these cinematic tones or color grading in my street photography images in Adobe Lightroom. And for this editing, I am using the photos taken from the Canon M50 with the EF50mm 1.8 lens during one of my street photo walk in the now Cebu Philippines. So if you want to know my uh, workflow, just stick around and hope you can follow my editing. And if you have some questions, just leave a comment in the comment section below. So without further ado, let's start. Okay, I prepared a couple of images to work with for this uh, tutorial and I will try to edit maybe two photos and then we will make a presets out of our adjustments and we will try to edit the rest of the photos. Okay, to start off with this uh, photo guys, we are here in develop module in Lightroom. So for this particular photo, I guess I need to crop a bit for composition wise. It depends on each photo actually. So after cropping, we need to go to this uh, white balance. Normally I just sh I use the a shot white balance and it's either you can use the auto mode also. But if it's not okay, then you can use the auto white balance selector tool. And click some white portion of the image but if it's not okay then I guess for this uh, shot I just use the auto white balance and then proceed click this uh, auto exposure in Lightroom as well it will give the proper whites and blacks and shadows and highlights of your photo but I need to bring down the vibrance and saturation for this particular photo Okay, to proceed to the tone curve guys uh, panel so we just select first the RGB one and we make uh, an S curve and just uh, crush the blacks to gray and basically uh, make an S curve something like this and bring down the highlights as well and we do this on the red and blue channel so we do for the reds Let's also make an S curve something like this and just uh, focusing on the tones it achieve while you doing the moving the curve and also for the greens as well just make an S curve as well for the blues something like this and you might go back to the sliders later on so to proceed with the HSL panel guys and for the saturation normally I just use the color selector tool and normally I click first some portion of her face and move the sliders either left or right focusing on the skin tones and overall look of the image and you can click other colors as well of the photo like the blues the target is to bring down the overall saturation so you can select some colors on your photo that the greens also need to bring down the blues so moving on to the U slider guys this is where we can the sliders to have the teal uh, look at our uh, shadows so the, tar the the target here guys is to bring down the use of the blues and science to the left to get this uh, teal look at the shadows and other colors you just uh, play around and same thing with the highlights as well so for the highlights normally I click somewhere on the face to bring the exposure up a bit and for the rest of the colors just bring down the highlights of each colors and that's it for the split toning we are now using this uh, panel and for the detail we will use the sharpening later on and I'm not using the noise reduction as well for the lens correction you can either click this uh, automatic lens profile correction or the automatic uh, aberration correction but I think for this photo we no need to use this and also for the transform if you, ne you need to check your photo if it's crooked or unbalanced you can align through this but I guess this photo is uh, no need and for the effects uh, we can add some vignetting guys not much around 10 or 12 only and 11 is uh, okay so okay so moving on to the calibration panel guys again for this uh, tint on the shadows you just need to play left and right to achieve our cinematic uh, teal orange yellow look or uh, some, something like that you just need to play around this uh, also this uh, rgb primary pan uh, sliders 
actually I no need to explain each of these guys but at least you have the idea uh, you need you no need to go extreme left or right just about in the middle and actually that's uh, about these uh, sliders after this guys you can go back to your uh, RGB panel tone curve panel to to fine tune some more the look of your uh, image just click on the middle portion to the RGB either red green or blue just to fine tune some more the cinematic tones that we need to achieve and I guess uh, somewhere here I think it I'm uh, okay with this so uh, then you go back to your uh, basic panel to some fine tuning maybe add some clarity or finalize the saturation or whatever you uh, need to finalize uh, fine tuning so I guess I'm happy with this uh, result so I guess that is guys you can see the before and after so uh, this is the cinematic uh, tone that we need to that we are aiming to get so uh, that's it okay moving on to our next photo guys the same steps first is we need to crop if we need to I think this one is okay and for the white balance you can just either select auto or uh, click some white portion of your uh, photo to get the proper white balance something like this so that's it for the overall exposure once again just click the auto for lightroom to give us the proper exposure but uh, uh, next one is to remove the saturation and vibrance and we reduce a bit saturation and for the tone curve guys once again for the rgb we just need to crush the blacks and make some s curve something like this and you repeat this to each individual uh, rgb uh, curve uh, just again make an S curve and you just uh, pay attention to the tone that it will give you uh, each time you move this slider but basically just an S curve and you can go back this slider later on for final shooting so I think it, this is okay for now and for the HSL uh, panel guys for the target here again is to desaturate all the colors uh, but my side I'll just click some uh, specific colors to desaturate and for the U is uh, again the aim here is to get the proper uh, as much as possible good skin tone and for the cinematic tone is you need to move the sliders for the blue and cyan to the left just to give this uh, teal uh, look at the shadows and that's that's basically for the uh, you and for the luminance once again the target here is the face of our subject to lift up the exposure a bit and for the rest of the colors you just need to bring down the so for the detail we don't need to use for now and only we need add some vignette vignetting so to the moving to the calibration once again you need to play this thing on the tint for the shadows uh, our aim here is to get this uh, till look at the shadows so you just move uh, something like this and for the rgb uh, panel guys these sliders you just need to play around uh, this is actually there's no right and wrong you just play this depending on what look you want for this case i am i am uh, aiming for this teal orange cinematic look war photo so i guess just that's it okay you can go back to the basic panel and do the fine tuning like adding some clarity and go back to your uh, uh, tone curve to fine tune some more the exposure and the uh, overall cinematic tone of your image and do some finalizing of your hsl for the skin tone or uh, the tone of your uh, image I think for this one is uh, okay and finally guys you can add some uh, sh sharpening something like this and I guess this is it this is the final photo guys as you can see in the before and after so this is the cinematic uh, tone that uh, we achieved okay from here guys we will create uh, presets from our adjustment to edit the rest of the photos we just click this preset word at the left panel and click create presets and you can name this a preset whatever you want and you can save this to 
you can name your group and for myself i normally save at this uh, my like a uh, group name and you can name this uh, preset whatever you want uh, like cinematic uh, streets like this and uh, you just check all these uh, check boxes check all and click create or uh, for my case i will not create because i already have have this so I just cancel out so we will proceed proceed to edit these uh, other two photos guys so example we have this uh, photo so i think i need to edit this we crop this thing a bit and once again we just uh after cropping you just uh click the preset that we have made or my preset for this case this is a uh, preset is a uh, film street so this is the photo guys and you can fine tune this uh, photo some more in the basic panel for its uh, overall uh, exposure if you need to but i think this one is uh, okay okay so for this photo guys again we click the film street uh, presets that we created and for this thing i think uh, pieces are underexposed so i will create a radial uh, filter for this one and just make a radial uh, like oval shape in their faces and make sure the click the invert and feather around 60 to 80 and just raise the exposure and shadows a bit and like something like this and you can duplicate this or copy and drag the copy to the other uh, faces something like this and just reduce the the size of the radial filter and to complete to the other faces and i think uh, that's it so this is the the final photo of our cinematic uh, tone uh, presets that we created guys so as you can see from the before and after so very big difference and for me it makes the photo better so i guess that's our tutorial for today guys and if you want to buy my street photography presets pack uh, it is available on my website just uh, click on the link in the description down below and once again guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and i'm planning to do a uh, live uh, photo editing in the near future so uh, until then see you in my next uh, video peace